Okay, so just get switched on here. It's wonderful to be back and it's a great honour and privilege to be asked to present the prizes this year at John Leggett. I spent seven very happy years here and I never realised how far it is from there to there. <laughs> it's a long way, so thank you for all, the, all of you who made that walk. Um, I also realised that this lectern, physical things, you know, last a long time. I think this lectern was also here when I was here. <laughs> My first thing to say here is congratulations to each and every student here tonight and, and those who are not here for the work that they've put in and the achievements they've, they, that we're celebrating. The certificates and awards that you receive represent the culmination of your school education. Each pass, each grade represents a successful investment of your energies. And now you have a tangible reward. Well done. It's time to celebrate and I'm very happy to be here to share in those celebrations. You will, I'm sure, be uh, aware that you've not done this entirely alone. Your families, parents and friends will have helped you along the journey in ways large and small. They too invested love, time and not a little money. They also deserve congratulations. Well done to all the supporters. The reward they see is that those they love grow in confidence and stature, both physical and intellectual, as their accomplishments accrue. Both students and families will, I'm sure, appreciate the enormous dedication of the staff at John. They too have invested energy and, and their talent in your education. They rightly share in your achievements. Your success is their success and vice versa. Well done to the staff of the college. The teachers, of course, are key people who have inspired you and challenged you to do the best you can. They deserve a special mention. I can remember the names and faces of my teachers who taught me in these buildings uh, here at John Leggett. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank them, even though, of course, they're not here. They've made a huge imprint on my life. From an early age, I was fortunate enough to know pretty well what I'd like to do and being here at John Leggett gave me both the qualifications and the confidence to follow my star. In my case, literally. I'm sure many of you will be from families that haven't had people go to university before. I was also the first person in my family to go to university. And for those who are first, role models are important. My maths and physics teachers encouraged me with the example of the very first person from this school to go to university. Wallace Sargent, is, uh, hail, his family hailed from Winterton. Um, Wallace left Scun what was then Scunthorpe Technical High School in 1953 and read physics at the University of Manchester. His name was the first name on the honours board that studied the entrance hall through all the years that I was at this school. He went on to become one of the world's most famous astronomers, holding a, posi a position at the prestigious California Institute of Technology and commanding access to the world's largest telescopes, the Palomar 200 inch and later the Keck Observatory 10 meter telescope in Hawaii. The common experience that I share with Wall, Wall here at John Legger College means that I've come to know him quite well and he was one of the first to congratulate me on becoming president of the Royal Astronomical Society. Each group I congratulate you tonight contributes to the college's success. And this is a very successful college uh, that your principal already went through a lot of statistics and details about how uh, groups of students have achieved in different ways. The one that was easily accessible to me is that over the, last 25, uh, over the last four years, 25 students from this college have gone to Oxford. These long-term achievements reflect the planning and resources of the whole community here in North Lincolnshire, that, that the community itself puts into education. Not just the principal and teachers, although their role is central, but also the administrators, the technicians and assistants, the maintenance and kitchen staff, the cleaners, the governors, everybody. Without everybody's contribution, your achievements would not be possible and we would not be celebrating what you have done tonight. It's a team effort. This is an observation 
that I'd like to encourage you to remember as you take your first steps in higher or further education or in employment. You've selected a course or a job that you hope will be interesting, inspiring, and perhaps even lead to something that's well paid. You will, however, be unusual if you are successful and happy working simply on your own. Almost all the significant enterprises with which you will engage involve you in contributing to a team effort, just as you've benefited from the team effort here at John Leggett. That team will involve people from diverse backgrounds, with a wide range of talents and potential. I encourage you to engage with each member of the team that you're part of. We be their colleagues or fellow students. Working together, you will achieve far more than you can alone, and you will find it far more rewarding. Now, you might find it slightly odd that I, as an academic here, am seeing the praises of working in teams. Academics are sometimes viewed as loners studying esoteric topics in ivory towers. I'd like tonight to try and dispel that notion. The largest project that I myself have worked on involved the construction of two telescopes, each of eight meters in diameter. One is now in Hawaii, the other is in Chile. These are called the Gemini telescopes, they're twins. The project cost about 120 million pounds, and it took the best part of 10 years to complete. It involved hundreds of people. Only a tiny fraction of those people were astronomers like me. To achieve this, to achieve what we set out to, we needed all kinds of engineers, we needed financial managers and accountants, builders, IT specialists, logistic experts, HR staff, secretaries, even politicians. The list goes on. Without the skills and commitment of all these people with their diverse talents, we wouldn't have succeeded. It took a big team to get the job done. So, you have, I have seen tonight that you've graduated from this college with a wide range of interests and a wide range of qualifications in a diverse set of subjects. Probably most of you had never considered working in a big science project, but each one of you, in fact, has the potential to do so. And if you find this appealing, I'd encourage you to take it up. Whatever you decide to do, be ambitious, hone your skills, and seek out an inspiring career that will give each of you a challenging and satisfying future. I want to close with a few remarks about education. I've already mentioned the personal investment that you have made in your studies and the investment your teachers have made in you. You will continue to be educated throughout your lives and of course you all will, in one way or another, also be teachers. Just think about how your parents learn to use their iPods. Those of you who are continuing on in formal education at the university or in further study will be making a personal commitment that will require many hours of dedicated reading, substantial numbers of essays to be written, and for those of you who are scientists, hours in the laboratory and taxing calculations, you will have to make many sacrifices, both in time and money. You will undoubtedly also throw, take, take up many of the other challenges that the university offers to make new friends and broaden the appreciation of the world around you. I would, however, encourage you to throw yourself into your studies. Remain focused on the subjects you are taking. To be truly successful, education requires a commitment from student and teacher alike. And it's very clear to me this evening that this is one of the very special things that you have here and it, the students who spoke, in fact, underline this. Education is, is not a commodity that can simply be bought and sold. It requires a personal commitment. Its purpose goes far beyond the monetary value of the career that follows. It will help you to lead a fulfilling and rewarding life. Take full advantage of the opportunity you have and make the community that is John Leggett proud of your achievements. You have my warmest congratulations and I wish you every success in the future. Thank you very much.